<laughs> Good Sunday morning to you ladies and gentlemen from Choke Canyon State Park near Three Rivers, Texas uh, on a cold rainy day. Well actually it's not that cold. Hey Google, what's the temperature in Three Rivers, Texas? In Three Rivers right now it's 47 degrees. With a 100% chance of rain and a low of 34. Hey Google, what's the temperature in Llano, Texas? The current temperature in Llano is 37 degrees. There is currently a winter storm warning in effect. With a low of 29 and a 100% chance of rain. So we're about 12 degrees warmer, I think. Is that right? But anyway, be that as it may, today is the first day of the rest of your life. Make it a good one. Uh, it's the day after yesterday day before tomorrow it's right now so do it but anyway i'm still alive in my 2021 thor 4 winds 22 e class c motorhome and i like it like it like it it's a good thing i've got it polished pretty good as in polishing the diamond sort of stuff hey google what's the temperature in bangor maine the current temperature in bangor is 19 degrees with a high of 34 and a low of 14 and no rain. Hey Google, what's the temperature in Butte, Montana? The current temperature in Butte is 3 degrees. 3. Due to current wind conditions, it feels like it's minus 4. With a high of 33 and no rain. Sunny, sunny though. Hey Google, what's the temperature in Fairbanks, Alaska? The temperature in Fairbanks right now is 14 degrees. 14? That's the high. With a low of 5 and uh, no rain. Hey Google, tell us a joke. What kind of music do chiropractors love? Hip pop. Ouch. You like that? Anyway, move. Let oh. me get back to you on that. Google was fixing to do something stupid. Here you go. A Mississippi student was visiting a relative in Boston over the holidays. He went to a large party and met a pretty co-ed. He attempted to start up a con conversation using the line, where do y'all go to school? The co-ed was not impressed with his grammar or southern drawl, but did answer his question. Yale, she replied. The other student took a big deep breath and shouted, where do y'all go to school? Ha, 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 ha. Cute, cute, cute. Nice way to start a Sunday morning, isn't it? Anyway, we'll do the quote button, too. Got the thing here. You will never change your life until you change something you do daily. The secret of your success is found in your daily routine. John C. Maxwell. Well, thank you, John C. Maxwell. How are you doing today? Anyway, guys, moving right along here uh, to commenties. Uh, what else did I forget? Anything? No. Uh, for a video today, for the, well, around noon, whenever I can get it uploaded, because the mornings are okay. Uh, the speeds are tolerable. Thank you, WeBoost. Thank you, WeBoost. The WeBoost signal booster for that they sent me to try out and, and talk about. Man, it's it saved me here for sure. Well, it saved me in the sense that I've got internet. It does. I mean, I wouldn't have any. I see people walking around with their cell phones trying to find a signal. So anyway. So what else? Uh, this is all my gang back here and some bananas and stuff. And anyway, Gavin H. says, never seen a green jay. That was interesting. Me, I'd never seen one either. Pretty bird, though. Beautiful. Diana Rickman says, never seen a green jay. They are beautiful. That woman drove nine hours to see that other bird. That is a fact. It's called a spotted rail. Yep. Yeah, I, 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 didn't, I haven't seen it yet. But people have come from all over the U.S. to be here. That, that's one of the reasons the park is so full. People have driven from all over. Bur birders have come here to see the spotted rail. It's a railroad track with rust on it. TGIF, whoa, Green Jay, who knew? Thumbs up. Guardian Pet Care, Jim, wow, a cool walk in the park. Who'd have thunk you'd meet a viewer and see some neat birds along the way? Hope 
you and the goat have a great day. The goat, the old screaming goat from out of nowhere comes. <laughs> Got a goat kiss. Anyway, guardian, oh, I ever read that. Dana or Dina, Dina S. What a pleasant sunrise walk. The discovery of the green jay was awesome. I have never seen one either. We have plenty of blue jays here though. Yeah, I've never seen it. I've never seen that bird. I mean, I'm 75 years old. Where has that bird been? <clears throat> this person's name is Four Travel Lure. Great video, Rusty. I always enjoy when you run into people decent enough to talk. Enjoy your videos. Been watching since your beginnings, but rarely comment. I'm going to try to be more interactive myself. Keep on keeping on. Well, thank you very much and enjoy your day. Yeah, the guy didn't want to be on YouTube, so I didn't try to record him at all. Somebody said the, the sound was crappy. Well, they, they couldn't hear him and he didn't want to be heard. So I was just walking along talking to myself, basically. WTBM123, cool. Jennifer LZR, I think Choke Canyon is the only place I've seen green jays. Neat birds. The baby javelinas came through too. Yeah, this is javelina territory. And when I get down to... Uh, uh, near Roma, Texas. What is that? Lake, is it Zapata? I can't remember. I never can remember that damn lake. Mandolins and radios. Why are you here? <laughs> yeah, that's old Joseph used to say that every morning when I was teaching in Refugio, Texas, 1997 and 1998. Mick Me, enjoyed this very much. May have to start birding. Interesting. Yeah, it is interesting. You know, this is a birding area. You know, people, when I go to uh, the lake, uh, the other lake, further south, that is a definite birding area. People come there with their big cameras and stuff. Uh, Jacqueline, Jacqueline Mack, nice video, Rusty. Those were unusual birds. I have never heard of or seen them before either. Well, there we go. Barbara Smith, thanks, Rusty, for the morning walk. You hit the jackpot with the green jay and that beautiful sunrise. Too bad you're missing that beautiful white stuff. I'm hoping I'll see a few flakes here in San Antonio. I really miss the snow. I know I'm an idiot. Stay safe in your travels. Actually, they didn't get any snow in uh, Lano either because it's 39. It's, it's 15 degrees warmer than they thought it was going to be. That's a pretty big miss. <clears throat> Nana Betty G, beautiful birds. You'll have to share some more video of that this week. Enjoy yourself and stay safe. Well, yeah, I, I did a... a I may post, uh, in fact, I may post two videos today. One will be a, I did a triking video. I, I was trying out the uh, the uh, uh, handlebar ca uh, camera mount thing or phone holder. And uh, and I did a short video, a, a triking video. And then also later on in the evening, I was sitting here looking out the window and, and I did a beer 30 video. I may post that later on. I mean, I could probably start. I could probably start them up here now, and they would be just right to about 2 o'clock, you know. But anyway, we'll see. Jeff Jones, nice walk. Thanks, you, thanks for taking us along. You're welcome. Flint Napping Tips. Okay. Cool, J, cool Jays and a nice park. Dave seemed like a nice guy, too. Yeah, he was a friendly fellow. Yeah, he's from San Antonio, Texas. Linda Hardy's got two. Rusty warned you. Mr. Screen Door, RIP. Yeah, rest in peace. It's gone. And... Uh, yeah, I'm glad. I mean, actually, I like the way it looks better without that screen door, and, and, and it's easier to go in and out, you know? No, the screen door is probably gone forever. Uh, same person, Linda Hardy, always enjoy your driving videos. At sunrise is extra special. Thanks. That was on the road again. Rebecca Nostrant on uh, the morning walk. Good morning, Rust Mr. Rusty. Happy New Year. Well, Happy New Year to you. We're 10 days into the new year already, guys. Rachel T24, nice walk. The Green Jay was cool. I have never seen that one. Thanks. I had never either. I mean, they're, they're, but I'm going to go over to that birding thing again uh, when I can. If it's uh, maybe go over there today, because you know they're saying it's going to rain all day, but uh, that doesn't necessarily mean it is. You know, uh, if if we get a nice break and it's just overcast, I'll go take a good walk. Dusty Dan, I couldn't hear you. I could not hear you at all. It is. Almost like you may be too far away from the mic. Anyway, I do enjoy your show and always give you a thumbs up. Keep the inter keep up the entertainment for us all. Thank you, Dusty Dan. I don't know why it was so... I had the mic and I don't know. Hell, I'm no pro at this, guys. 
I mean, I've been doing it for years, but that doesn't make you a pro. Uh, uh, we'll see. Uh, Scotty Thompson, the mask bowler from Wisconsin, says, cool video talk, Rusty. Thank you, Scotty Thompson. Catherine F., hey, Rusty, I live at the other Callaham nearby on FM 99, about 10 miles from Callaham, in which Choke Canyon Park or Choke Park is located. Most people don't know there are two Callaham communities, 72 towards Tilden and then FM 99, other Callaham where we are. It's duck hunting season. I think it's almost over. Most week in mornings at my house, it sounds like a war zone. It, it sounds like it here too. Duck hunters is what you hear. Enjoy your trip. Yeah, I thought it was. I thought it was like somebody popping firecrackers, but it was. It says, uh, it says you beat me. Uh, Jennifer says you beat me to it. I knew that was a gunshot. Debbie Weckler, that is right. Eliminate. The, frustra the frustrations. Yeah, I agree. No, you know, if you want to polish a diamond, you know, you got to uh, accentuate the positive and eliminate the negative. And the door, the screen door was a negative, so how'd it go? This is Julie Tooley. All that money for new, I would be a bit upset too. I'm not upset at all, babe. I'm pleased. I mean, th that's nothing. That is nothing. The ones that get you, uh, drive you to drinking, or when you've got electrical issues and water leaks and stuff, and so far, knock on concrete, uh, I haven't had those yet. Holly Bosworth, I think that is gunfire. They're, they're hunting the ducks. Yep. Tony Venata, good morning, America. Well, good morning, morning, Tony. This is Camo Tim. That area is not the village. Oh, this is Cochiti uh, Pueblo. It's Cochiti Lake Housing. Okay, uh, let me, I'm gonna, his ending is bad, okay, so I'm going to feed him to, uh, to, here you go, Matilda, here's a little, uh, this is ham and eggs, here's some ham and eggs, you had pancakes yesterday, so there you go, Camo, Woo, there's Camo, anyway, it's not what you say, it's how you say it, uh, Tony Rad, you are a superstar, Rusty, have a good evening. I have never seen a green jay. Beautiful. Thank you, Tony. I appreciate your input. Camo Tim. Adobe Stuff. Here he is again, man. Here's some more food for you. Camo just can't, he just can't be nice. So this will be, uh, here's some toast with uh, jam. There you go. There's a, whoop, there he is again. Got two of him in there. Anyway, Mickey Davis, we have one in our casita. Oh, the 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 uh, wet bath in the casita. I put a uh, uh, what it, teak wood floor thing in there, a uh, pad. It says we have one in our casita. If we if you get it wet every time you shower and don't dry and clean the oil and oil the wood every few weeks, it will look pretty bad fast. We take it out when we shower and replace it. Replace to have something dry and warm to stand on. Yeah, that's good. Way to go, Mickey. Boondocking with Dennis. Birds and fans. Good walk. Yeah, it's fun. Yeah, it's a good place. Thank you. He has a channel, uh, Boondocking with Dennis. Check it out. He lives in a pickup with a camper top, folks. And if you don't believe that, think that's easy. If you think it's easy, try it. Sunflower555 USA, Texas. Love this video, Rusty. Meeting new people and learning about birds. The Green Jay is beautiful. Now I must go and see them. It is cold here for certain, expecting snow. I didn't see the goat. The goat, the goat, the goat. <laughs> Two goat kiss day. Getting it done. Green Jay, never ever have we seen. Me either. Ellen Dowd. I love campgrounds. People are always friendly, nice walk. Uh, not all of them. Some of them are, are friendlier than others. Some people don't talk at all. John Deaton, seven days and seven nights. That was, uh, I don't know if I said something seven days. Anyway, LOL. Thank you, John. Suzanne, hunting. Yeah, duck hunting. Mr. C, beautiful looking area. That teardrop was sharp looking. Yeah, it, it was a sharp looking little teardrop. Apparently, they don't make them anymore, though. Taz Mod, Salem, Oregon, 38 and partly cloudy at 2.14 p.m. That's a little cool, isn't it? It's raining now. 
Can you hear it? Tasma. Oh, I read that. Load out some more thing. Oops. And it did. Where are we at here? Uh, there we are. Sparkling glitter. Thumbs up to you. Robin K. Rusty, you're famous. Love the morning walk and beautiful sunrise. You're welcome. Gary D. The green jay is beautiful. Surprising how many people are up this morning. Have a great day, Rusty. Yeah, they want to see that bird. The bird. The bird. The bird, bird, bird. Bird is the word. Remember that song? The bird, bird, bird. The bird is the word. How about this one? I know a girl named Boney Maroney. She's as skinny as a stick of macaroni. Those are the, some of the, the uh, high intelligence songs that I grew up with. D. McCarty, Rusty's Becoming Famous. Well, not really. I met one person. C. Lynn, awesome, awesome, awesome walk and conversation. Mr. Rusty, thank you for the video. Thank you, C. Lynn. Bon Jean. Nice video, Rusty. Thank you. And then Joyce Barnett says, That Green Jay is beautiful. I never knew they existed. That was a great walk about when you can, when you ran into a follower. And then the Bird Lady, great video. Thanks for taking me along. We are having snow here in Colorado Springs, Colorado this a.m. I am thinking of you as I watch the beautiful snow. But for now, I do enjoy the four seasons. Take care and enjoy the adventures. You are welcome. Levi Brewer, my man from... Capitan, New Mexico. He says he loves what it says. I love watching birds. I, I do too, if it's convenient. Uh, Joe eight sounds like the, sounds like shotgun to me. Hunters out early. Yep, duck hunters definitely get out early. Sea stone. This is the first time I've ever seen a green jay. Beautiful bird. Me too. Slack pack hiker sh saw a boat saw a boat tailed grackle. That's all I got. And this is uh, Jeffrey Ben says, awesome. Al Fur, thumbs up. Dave and Deb, nice singing voice. I w yeah, don't give up my day job. I hear you. <clears throat> Ernest Lucas, very nice part. Rick Berry says, maybe hunters. No, it was definitely duck hunters. I'll probably, well, I don't know if they'll be out this morning or not because it's raining and the ducks aren't flying. Craig Johnson, sounds like a good plan about moving from park to park. Just like you said about driving, you would be looking forward to the trips every week or so. Yeah, it's, uh, it's, it, but as far as the moving park to park, I'm really on the fence on that one because I've got a good RV park to, to call a home base. And I may end up keeping that and just doing traveling for four, five, six months a year. We'll see. Thank you, Craig Johnson. Michael Colley. Hi, Rusty. You started the story. Any more information about why your MMR student asked, why are you here? Why did he do that? And you said it got in your head. What effect did it have on you? Keep the videos coming. Appreciate them, Mike. Mike, what are you, a psychiatrist? Uh, I don't know why he did it. He just did. I mean, you know, moderately MMRs do, they, they do things consistently. I'll admit that. Uh, but as far, but they don't have a great memory. Uh, you know, in other words, you can, oh, they do have a good memory for certain things. But you can show him how to do, you know, to make change, you know, one morning and get him to where he can make change for a dollar real easy using, you know, fake money and stuff. And then the next day, it's like he never even heard it. But as far as why did it have an effect on me, I have no clue. Scotty Thompson, what part of Texas are you at now? South. Cool comment call, Rusty. Thank you, Scotty Thompson, the mass bowler from Wisconsin. We've got three more and we'll shut her down. Dare Tricks, a greetings from Germany. Der Trixel lives on the North Sea in Germany. It's windy and cold, I guess. Thank you, Der Trixa. Paul Drake, WTF, you're all wound up. This is on the screen door. Something else must be bothering you. Relax, man. Enjoy life. And don't fight it. Don't enjoy it. Man, I'm fine, Paul. Take your meds, boy. It's okay. You're, you're okay, bud. You'll be fine. Ted Walker, do, do you want to fix that bottom panel in the screen door for good? No. Put a bead of silicone around the edge of that panel where the loose edge is. Yeah, I could do that. I could. Uh, Patrick Hagen says, if I get a senior state park in New Mexico and just hook up electric and water, I could pay only $128 to stay in state parks. You could, but they're not open. 
maybe you can check out one of the magnetic screens that keeps bugs out. Well, I could, but it, there's no there's no metal there to for magnets to work on. Okay. Nope, there's no metal there at all. Only aluminum and plastic. But anyway, having said that, guys, from 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 from, from Choke Canyon State Park in Texas on a cool, rainy, damp morning. This is Rusty78609 saying thumbs up, carpe diem, adios, bye bye, buy anything you want, anytime. But if you think about it, use the link to Amazon products in the description of all of my videos. Why? Because it does not cost you one penny. Just click on the link, go to Amazon, buy whatever you want. And Amazon takes care of me. Some of you are and some of you have done it. So I appreciate that very much. Pat yourself on the back. Thank you very much. That helps. And then what else? Drink plenty of water. Three or four quarts a day won't hurt you. It's good for you. It'll help you avoid gout, kidney stones. Also help you lose weight because you'll be full of water and you will not want to eat so much. And eating less is the only way to really lose weight and keep it off. And then what else? Uh, take deep breaths. Breathe in really deep, hold it for a few seconds, and then breathe out slowly. Why? Because that relieves stress, and relieving stress does what? Lowers your blood pressure. Is that good for you? Yep, do it several times a day. And then what else? Stretch, stretch, stretch. Swivel, swivel, swivel. Walk, walk, walk. Pedal, pedal, pedal. Exercise your body once or twice every day once or twice a day every day why because you'll feel better immediately and you may live longer healthier because of that one thing and then what else stand guard at the door of your mind do not let negative nancy or negative ned get inside of your beautiful lovely head it's yours it's this is your head your brain your frontal lobes your consciousness all those little neurons in there forming neural links which is every thought you have okay dreams memories etc so put in good ingredients just common sense right Use your titanium cranium to keep out negativity. Don't watch the news. <laughs> Read it. Okay? Why? It takes all the emotion out of it. The talking heads will drive you nuts. Okay? But anyway, what else? Accentuate the positive. Eliminate the negative. Live your life one day or one moment at a time. At ease, carry on, adios, bye-bye, hasta luego, bye con Dios, aloha, until next time, which will be around lunchtime, hopefully if I can get a video uploaded, because it seems like the mornings are pretty good, and then psh, around lunchtime it ain't good at all. But anyway, guys, enjoy your day, enjoy your Sunday, and uh, yeah, life's good, I have no complaints. We'll be moving to a new site tomorrow, adios, bye-bye, I mean, here in this park.